Now that we have realistic fiction and historical fiction in our belts, let's take a look at two more literary genres, fantasy and science fiction. Yes, I've been waiting for this one. Great, you can take over then. No, we're a team. I need your help. Okay, fine, I'll help you. I'll start with fantasy. Fantasy books contain elements that are not realistic whatsoever. They may use magic and <laughs> other supernatural features throughout the plot. Cool, that sounds just like a fairy tale. I'm glad you said that. Fairy tales are a type of fantasy. Neat, I hadn't thought of it that way. But I guess since the characters are usually kings, princesses, dragons, wizards, witches, ogres, and talking animals, just like fantasy, that makes sense. You forgot about the mythological creatures, like unicorn. Oh yeah. Fantasies usually take place in castles or magic worlds, and they can include time travel. It's pretty obvious that fantasies are completely made up. Not much about them seems very realistic. And certain themes tend to pop up over and over in the plot of fantasy. Heroes, quests, good versus evil, damsels in distress. That sounds pretty much like every Disney movie I've ever seen. Yep. Some examples of fantasy are Cinderella, the Harry Potter series, Twilight, and the Chronicles of Narnia. Man, I love all of those. Okay, now that we've covered fantasy, let's move on to science fiction, or what some people like to call it, sci-fi. Isn't there a TV channel for that? <laughs> yeah, but we're not talking about the TV channel today. We're talking about the literary genre. Okay, sorry. Science fiction is typically set in the future, where science and technology have altered the plot of the story. These stories can take place in advanced tech cities, spaceships, other solar systems, etc. They include a human element. They explain the effects that new discoveries, futuristic events, and scientific developments will have on our future. That sounds eerily close to the giver. Yep, you're right. Characters in science fiction, just like Jonas, face unusual or unreal conflicts, like time travel, important experiments gone wrong, or the end of the world. And other characters in sci-fi can be mutants, talking computers, <laughs> robots, and aliens. Oh my goodness. This is where your dystopian societies, just like the ones in The Giver, The Hunger Games, and Divergent, all come into play. Some other examples of science fiction are The War of the Worlds, Star Wars, and A Wrinkle in Time. I love all those books! Yeah.